I have just completed a 36 hour fast. Honestly, like after this fast, I have such a bad headache today. How do you feel about a nanny? Someone coming in to look after you. <laughs> Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. It's actually so nice out here. I don't know if it's just because it's a little bit early and it will probably heat up a bit later but right now this weather is perfect like it's sunny but there is a breeze which is so nice because it's been so humid in Atlanta. But anyway welcome back to another vloggity vlog vlog. I have just completed a 36 hour fast and I feel good so this is my it's something i want to do once a month both for health and for spiritual reasons for health reasons it really acts as like a complete gut reset and you know your body is able to just kind of like let go of fat that it no longer needs that it's been holding on to because it's kind of forced to tap into your fat stores once you know it's worked through all of the glucose and also like it's really great for clearing your skin because like i said your your cells completely repair like this is the second time that i'm doing it and even last time i felt like my skin had kind of it was like i had gotten like a facial or a peel just because your body completely re basically regenerates you know its cells and then spiritually it just allows me to get like a like more clear-headed i was able to i really wanted to kind of do like a mid-year kind of like review and just evaluate like what has god been teaching me what is he showing me and what do i feel like he's calling me to for the next half of the year and i was able to do that so i feel really good it definitely gets easier like the first time i just had a huge headache and mentally i was like oh, i don't think i can do this but this time like mentally it was a lot easier because i think i had done it before i didn't have like a lot of the physical symptoms you know like a headache it's now like i'm, I'm about to break my fast i've got literally like 15 minutes so I'm going to make myself a nice breakfast. I'll probably have a shake first. And then I'm going to make myself a nice breakfast. But yeah, like it, it gets easier, which is amazing. But yeah, I'm feeling really, really good. So I just wanted to like open up the vlog and share that whilst it was still fresh in my mind. How I was feeling after this 36 hour fast. If you want to do your own research on it, you definitely can do your research on like different lengths of fast. And you know, how they help your body things like that i was drinking water during it too so i want to say that it was a water fast but yeah i'm just i'm looking at my herbs and they need watering so let's water those this is really just going to be like a take you guys along vlog truthfully whenever we vlog mostly it's kind of like planned or i know what i want to do but i feel like we've been doing a lot of like structured vlogs and collabs and things like that but today we're kind of just craving just trying to guys taking you guys along for the real real so that's what we're gonna do malika is eating breakfast so yeah i need to water my herbs so let's quickly do that and then i can make my breakfast because i'm so excited to eat
just about to eat. This is my, Malika usually has two to three breakfasts a day. She loves breakfast. Um, but yeah, I also just had a call with the cleaner. We're in the process of like interviewing a few because I want to just bombastic side eye. Yeah, like start getting like more home systems in place, like a cleaner, getting a good nanny. You know, not regularly, but probably just like one weekday a week to be with Malika and then like one probably like a Friday evening or a Saturday evening so me and hubby can take a date night but yeah like i love being around full time with her but sometimes you need a little help that's really what we're working on this month is like trying to get the home systems in place that's right how do you feel about a nanny someone coming in to look after you you like the idea yes or no yes or no do you want a nanny to look after you? You're not sure. We'll make sure she's nice. Yeah, and no, that you get along with her. <laughs> she seems happy about it. <laughs> Let's have some food. Okay guys, so this is what I'm eating, not the prettiest, but it's definitely going to do the job. Um, got two fried eggs, my little tomato and onion mix, some bacon, and then I made, I ended up making some bread with the leftover dough that I had when I made Malika's pizza box the other day. So that's what we have in. I'm so excited to eat. that mum that does like their child's hair because Malika's hair looks so nice when it's done however the struggle of one doing her hair but then two undoing it like it's just I don't mind doing it I enjoy doing her hair but she doesn't really enjoy having it done so um I've decided to let her hair be for this week and we go again next week so if you have something to say about my baby's hair you come and do it <laughs> I'm playing not really. <laughs> eat the bunny, 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 eat the bunny. Eat the bunny, 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 it's okay, we'll find something
A few hours later. Okay guys, so we didn't film but we actually went out. Winston got a haircut. Me and Malika got some coffee and a muffin. But it's so hot. Um, but yeah, Winston got a haircut. You wanna show them your haircut, babe? Here he is. You man. I actually haven't fully checked it out in the mirror yet, but babe, you said you were satisfied. Let us know in the comments, out of 10, how did he do? Are we going back or are we going elsewhere next time? I think Well, like, what do you think of Daddy's hair? It's amazing. It's amazing? Okay. You want an ice box? Okay, so Malika is down for a nap. But yeah, I'm gonna put some chicken in the oven for dinner. Honestly, pre-seasoning my meat has been one of the best things that I've ever done. And then I'm gonna get on with some work. I also wanna do like a little bit of planning. I've just been kind of feeling like I've been in reactive mode lately and I wanna get back into proactive mode. Like, I don't know, just feeling like I'm more organized I guess like I think it's easy to kind of like see YouTube videos and think oh you know she's this she's that whatever but this is work and I know when I have to vlog that day you know you can kind of like plan to a certain extent but I just want to have like more of that if that makes sense so I did just confirm a cleaner to start in a couple of weeks which is going to be really nice and we're in the process of looking for a good nanny so just little systems because yeah I love motherhood I love you know taking care of my home but I also want to make sure I have the time to do the project and the things that I know God has put on my heart to do as well and that requires just being organized it requires having systems in place it requires you know waking up early um, even lately just like I've been pretty much waking up the same time as Malaika so I feel like I already start in reactive mode and then I'm trying to catch up the rest of the day so I just want to make a plan to like you know get up earlier than her like know exactly what I want to do with that time and yeah whatnot so if you're in that same boat as a mom too and you're kind of just trying to figure stuff out and get back into proactive mode then I'm right there with you but yeah, second half of the year, I am committed to just taking control of my life, partnering with God to, you know, get it together. Like I want to maximize what's on my life and I know a big part of my role and it's motherhood, mothering is important work, being a wife is important work. So I don't negate that at all. But I also know there are other things that God has for me to do. And that requires me being organized, having systems in place so I can actually do those things. So anyway, let's put the meat in the oven and then let's get on with, I need to do a little bit of work. I need to edit a reel for a brand. And then um, I'm just gonna do like a little bit of planning and getting, getting myself together a little bit. because she wants it.
Mangas and for the missus, cross and hibiscus. Stay tuned to find out more about this couple. It's real edited. If you hear Malika in the background then that's because she's still trying to fall asleep. So if you're curious, I use the app CapCut to edit reels and it's pretty good. I just use the free version. the shop for this brand. So this was actually our second time visiting the Museum of Illusions. It's just the perfect family day out. They had really fun illusions that your toddler or younger kids will love. Malika absolutely loved this room. It took me longer than I expected, mainly because of the voiceover. I had to try and fit it into a few seconds and say everything I wanted to. But yeah, I wanted to do some, some other work and some planning, but I think I'm just gonna cook, finish cooking the chickens in the oven. I'm just gonna make a salad. It's the same one I made last time, but I'll show you guys how I do it. Honestly, like after this fast, I have such a bad headache today. Last time I had a headache like towards like the end of the fast, but this time I felt really good during the whole fast. But today I'm kind of like dealing with <laughs> the after effects. Symptoms. Yeah, I feel like my body is probably like just switching back. So I've been trying to drink plenty of water and liquids and obviously eating as well and like replenishing my body. But yeah, that's just the note. I guess everyone's different and each fast might be different. You might feel the effects more during the fast or afterwards. Yeah, hopefully I have a good day of like, you know, replenishing my body and I feel back to normal tomorrow. <laughs> Anything you want to say to the vlog? Catch them up. I told them this was like a chatty kind of catching up you vlog because we've been just grinding, give, trying to give you guys the aesthetic, cinematic content. But I feel like sometimes it's yeah. fun to just, you know, chat, keep it, Let keep us it know unedited. What you think of this format. Yeah. yeah, a lot of the time we go for the, the visuals, make sure that everything is really pretty and curated. But this was a bit more conversational, a bit more of like a point and shoot style of, of vlog and just kind of bringing you in to stuff we're doing while we do it. Yeah, we're still going to give you guys the B-roll. Yeah. But, yeah. So, so, yeah. Actually, let us know what you prefer or like mm -hmm. if you just like a variety of different types of vlogs. Mix and match. Let us know that too. And subscribe guys we always forget to tell you to subscribe because a lot of you subscribe. by the way those of you in the uk mm. i can see the numbers in the back end you lot are the you guys are the largest group of silent watchers mm -hmm. he's watching he's looking like this like this watching watch so me. please click subscribe it's free completely free and the cost yeah, of living is high in the uk and elsewhere but this is completely free, so just click subscribe. Do it. And that way you also get notified whenever we post a new video. So, how's about that? Yes. This, like, reel that I'm trying to upload, it's saying it's taken ages. It's like, what's this 7 Are you on, You're not on Wi Fi. But I don't know why. Hopefully, that uploads and we can send that to the brand in time. And I feel like the BTS too of like, I know people just kind of like see like us cleaning the house or just us around the house, but we do real work. <laughs> like there are real deadlines and- This is a job by the way, guys. It's a, like, yeah, like this is a job, a full-time job. I see questions like, what do y'all do for work? Like this, this is part of our work. <laughs> Truly, like so. producing two videos a week plus, you know, working with like brand guidelines. It's a lot of, it's a lot of work. Yes. So, yeah. and also the brand deals, cause I think, and I feel like most people do understand this, but I have seen one or two comments of people like, oh. We don't like the brand deals or you promoting X, X and X. Listen, <laughs> we have bills to pay. First and foremost, like if 
if you want to talk about how someone makes money, then I encourage you to pick a bill, pick a bill to pay. You can pick the water, you can pick the gas, mm. pick any. But rent, yeah, like rent, this is, how are you going to tell someone not to make their money? And also we do work with brands that we genuinely believe in and genuinely enjoy. We turn down brands if it's not aligned with, you know, us. So. Yes, yeah, that's the thing about us. Like we don't just promote anything. It has to be no. something that either we use or, you know, something that comes strongly recommended. Yeah. Or something that we think could be a great fit for you guys, our audience. So, yeah. So yeah, it's just part of the business, part of being a content creator, you know, mm -hmm. you, you make content. So, you know, part of being a baker, you make cakes. So this this is what we produce in our business. Yeah. That gets us paid. And I think it's a fair trade off, like YouTube content is free. I know you, you don't have to click the link if you're like not interested in something. You just gotta watch. Like I don't think that's too much of a trade off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyway. Alright, let's get this dog. <laughs> I have it like literally on everything. I need to actually make some more and it's so easy to do. I basically did, this is two onions and I did one and a half cups of water, one and a half cups of apple cider vinegar, some seasoning and a little bit of sugar. Um, you just boil that and then you just put it all in a jar. Perfect. You can have it with burgers, you can have it with salad, you can have it with meat, you can have it with eggs. Yeah, so yummy. So just thought I'd let you guys in on that. because you see like it has some bits that are burnt basically and some other bits that I would actually like a little bit crispier so let me know if you have tips for wings Malika's up so I'm gonna get her right now <laughs>
had my dinner earlier because I was hungry. I was hungry, but you guys were not hungry at that time. So what had happened was, <laughs> what had happened was, <laughs> yeah, they eating now. But yeah, pretty much gonna close off the vlog here. But I did quickly want to share with you guys, obviously when this video comes out, Prime Day will be over. But we did do a little bit of Prime Day shopping. So I wanted to share with you guys what we got. I, said, I, I always struggle with things like, you know, like deals and sales, like even Black Friday and stuff. Because I feel like you should get, get stuff that you need. Like I don't think you should get stuff that you don't need just because it's on sale. But because we knew Prime Day was coming up, there's a couple of things that I had saved in case they were on sale. So... Let me show y'all and let me know what you guys got in the prime prime day deals as well if you got anything good so we finally got the potty that we were talking about getting i think we mentioned it a few videos ago that we were gonna start officially potty training with malaika and it's originally like 50 dollars, and i got it for 30 dollars on prime so i think that's a pretty good deal how are you feeling about beginning potty training you ready Excited! I think she's ready. She's been asking to go and. Yeah, and she actually because we've introduced it now, so now she say I have to poop with mommy. I have to poop with mommy. So, um, I think, <laughs> and now it's it's summer, so we're just gonna pick like a, a long weekend and just do it that way. And then I got some frames. Uh, I got these frames. There are nine of them because I actually found like four frames. Um, when I went to Goodwill. So I want to do like a picture gallery right up there behind Winston. Yeah, and I'm thinking of doing like a, you know, like a black and white family picture um, gallery because I feel like that would be really nice. Yeah, I feel like we have certain goals for this half of the year, but I feel like this next half of the year, part of what I'm really going to be focusing on is like really cozying up the house and investing in like furniture and decor so i feel like the gallery wall will look really cute there what else did i get i just got a leveler okay. because usually i rogue it with like hanging stuff up but i thought you know what it's i'm hanging 12 pictures and i definitely don't want it to be wonky so i got a leveler as well just looks like this and this was it wasn't that bad this was originally eight dollars and i got it for six dollars and then i just got some some of the protein shake the organ protein shake that i really like you guys have seen it in our fridge but yeah it's this one they do like a powdered version which is much cheaper but i just i like i don't like the thought of like having to like pour milk and then like pour the shake because usually i have these before i go to the gym so i like just picking it up being able to have it like in the car on the way to the gym so yeah and they were originally 30 dollars for a pack of 12 and i got them for for 20 dollars so for 18 dollars and 52 cents and they're originally twenty seven dollars and eighty five cents. I should give the exact. So yeah, got some. I think we got. Yeah, some, yeah. yeah, we got some decent deals. So thought I'd just share those with you guys. But anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Say bye bye, Shifa. Say bye, Shifa. See you later. Blood test. Should we do one, two, three? Three. The One, <laughs> two, three. three.